Have you ever set a goal before? And you really wanted to achieve the goal, but just for some reason, outside of your awareness, something else got in the way. Life got in the way. People got in the way. And maybe even you got in the way of your own goal setting. If you say yes to this, you're normal. You're human and you're just like every other person I've ever spoken to, including myself. It's called yo-yo goal setting. Now, we're just about to come up on the end of the year. We're just about to embark on a brand new year in moving into 2021. And it'll be an opportunity for New Year's resolutions. And I know you already know that they don't work. There's a reason why they don't work. For the type of person that waits right until the end of the year and they say, okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna set this goal. And they get really excited about it and it's easy to get pumped up about an idea because it's all theoretical. And then it comes to reality and they don't achieve their goal. Why? Let's explore it now. So I want you to think about it like this. There's two parts of our brain. The first part is your conscious mind. That's where we make decisions. And that's where we come up with great ideas like I want to become, I want to achieve, I want to have. All of our goal setting happens in the conscious mind. And then there's another part of our brain, the unconscious, the subconscious. This is where an even deeper set of unconscious goal setting and goal achieving is happening. And it's very much connected to this thing called your values. Your values are emotional states that you want to experience on a regular basis. If your values match your goals, right? So your goals are what you say you want consciously. Your values are your unconscious emotional command centers that are going to move you towards achieving your values every single time. If your values are out of alignment with your goals, you'll never achieve your goals. Say for example, you've got someone who values comfort and they value freedom. And so they just love feeling good all the time. They love not having any pressure. They very much don't value things like discipline. They're like moving away from that. It's like, nah, I just wanna feel how I wanna feel. I wanna be how I wanna be. And then they have a goal, which is I wanna lose weight and I wanna have the, I wanna be in the best shape of my life. Now to have that goal, there are a certain set of values that need to come with it. And so for example, to have really great health, you gotta value discipline. 100%. When you're at work and people are bringing around all the different cakes and the, and the biscuits and things, you got to have discipline. you got to value discipline over freedom or comfort to be able to say, mm, no to the cake because I value my health instead. And a lot of people don't have the values that they require to get to their goals. So for example, say for example, you want to value wealth, right? You want to be as wealthy as you possibly can. Well, you got to value learning. If you don't value learning, you'll never progress, you'll never get there, you'll never improve. If you wanna have a great relationship with other people, a lot of people don't think about this, you gotta value yourself, right? We can only experience great relationships with others if we actually respect and honor and love ourselves. In the goals people set, what I really care about are what are your values aligned with your goals? Just grab a pen and a pad, or you can even just think about it. What do you spend your time on the most? What do you think about the most? And where do you spend most of your money? They're your values. For me, it took hearing a message like this to really check in if the values that I have in life are what I want, are they going to propel me to achieve the goals that I truly want and desire and know that I can achieve in my life? Or do I need to change them? Do I need to upgrade my values? So here are a list of a handful of values that absolutely rock and I would encourage anyone to have them. Value growth. Invest in yourself. The best investment we can ever make is the real estate between our ears, right? This is the most important thing you can ever invest in is yourself. Invest in your health. That's how we value ourselves and we value our health. We, we care for ourselves what we put into our bodies. And I don't even mean just food, I mean energetically as well. Like who do you hang around with? What information are you listening to? Value your health. Another major part of life that gives us meaning if we value it is contribution. Value making a difference, value helping others. There's so many studies that show that when we value making a difference and contribution and helping others, it gives us more meaning in life. So if I can care about you, I actually gonna, I'm gonna take something out of that. Now, if you're resonating with what we're sharing, if you love the sound of it, if you'd like to find out more, I'd love to encourage you to go ahead and click the link below. When you do, you'll head over to another page where I would absolutely love to invite you along to a live global broadcast 
that we're running all around the world and we're running it in your country. We'd love to see you there. All you need to do is go ahead and click the link and I'll see you on the other side.